I uh, brought attention yesterday to a scripture that we find in Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19, where it talks about a light in a dark place. And yesterday as I was ministering this, it occurred to me that perhaps I might want to give some definition to what I would refer to as a dark place. And I, I would mostly describe it as being a place of despair. person is discouraged. Um, perhaps there's been life circumstances that just kind of knocked them down, knocked them around, and they, they're just discouraged. And they don't have a clear picture of what the future looks like. I can identify and when I was uh, through during my military service and had gotten out of the Navy, and I did not realize how difficult that adjustment would be. Because when you're in the military, you, uh, you have a steady paycheck, you have your meals provided, you have all of your medical taken care of, and all of those things that you kind of begin to take for granted when uh, you are enjoying those things. So I'm out of the military. I'm in Pensacola and uh, tried to find a job. And uh, I was uh, just not able to do so. And then realizing that even the economy had changed in the four years that I'd been in the military. And uh, there's just a lot of things that I had not considered. And so I started doing odd jobs and doing whatever I could to make a little money. But the bills were stacking up and uh House payment needed to be paid, and uh, a car payment needed to be paid, and all of those things begins to happen. And I found myself just not even wanting to get out and start another day. And I'd get up, and then I'd end up on the couch, and I would just be laying on the couch and just contemplating everything. And allowed myself to become more and more weighed down by these things. And uh, then there came a day. There came a day when uh, I feel like that the Holy Spirit came to me and just rebuked me and told me, get up off the couch and go visit the hospitals. There's people in your church that are in the hospital and they could use some encouragement. So I got up, got myself dressed, drove to the hospital, started visiting people, and guess what? They were a ministering spirit to be. I went there supposedly to minister to them. They ministered to me. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And just told me, look, you need to get your focus off all of the negative circumstances in your life and just begin to focus on a heart to serve your fellow man. And God will take care of these things. And what God did, he dropped hope in my spirit that things could change. And guess what? They did. And God just used that to speak to me about putting my trust in him. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.